Time to unpack. Oh, my least favorite thing of traveling. Morning, besties. Welcome. So I got back from Denver two days ago and the day that I got back was a Saturday and then I had Sunday and now today's Monday. So all of my work and everything that I missed from being in Denver is all piled up for me to do today. <laughs> Obviously that wasn't the smartest choice, but it's just kind of what ended up happening. I hate working on Sundays. So it's a little stressful today. I'm excited, but Definitely have a lot to get done and I have to leave for school in 30 minutes and I don't have all my school that I need to have done done yet. So it's okay, we'll figure it out. If you're wondering why the bottoms of my hair are wet, basically while I was in Denver, I tried this little conditioner that was just in the hotel and hotel conditioner and shampoo is never good. Like it's always really crappy. But this conditioner y'all, it made me feel like a goddess. It was so beautiful and amazing. So I tried to find one that had similar ingredients and stuff, but the one that I ended up using and buying just wasn't it. And it made my hair all frizzy. So I had to condition the bottoms of my hair cause it just looked really bad. Anyways, I have, an announcement question mark i still don't know how i feel about it so this is either a really good announcement or a really bad announcement but we will see so my dad and my brother are definitely softies they're the more sensitive people in the family and they ended up going to some sort of event with one of our local community group things they went to an animal shelter and they ended up meeting this dog named velvet that they just like fell in love with literally they loved the dog so much and they texted my mom and they're like we're buying this dog and then all of a sudden we owned another dog. We literally just got a new dog back in fall of 2020. Her name's Miss Apollo. <laughs> it's my little brother's dog, they named her that. And then one of our oldest dogs actually recently died, which is really sad because it was like one of our literal longest dogs that we have had. Like we got that dog when I was like a child. I was under the impression that we weren't gonna get a new dog for a while. So I still don't know how I feel about it yet because it's a puppy apparently and apparently has a lot of energy and is apparently just like Miss Apollo and Miss Apollo is crazy. So I'm a little bit nervous to go meet this dog. On other notes, um, I every time I get back from traveling, I always feel slightly weird. Like everything has to kind of get back to normal, even though I went for like two days. It's not even a big deal, but I still feel a little weird. Like my sleep schedule has been a little bit off. I'm slightly jet lagged, although I don't think you can get jet lagged that quickly. But I guess you can. As you can tell, we're not doing too great. I know this doesn't look like a mess to most people, but to me, it is definitely a mess. Like, I have a pretty small room, and so if there's even a tiny bit of things just, like, on the ground, it feels like such a big, bigger deal. Also, literally, my mascara is on my eyelid. I got friendship socks with my friend the other day, and they're so comfy, and they make me feel so happy. Like, without them, I feel empty inside. So, that was fun. I'm kind of nervous to meet this dog. I think with dogs, it's very hit or miss. I could love this dog so much. I could hate this dog a lot. It's just, like, their personality matters so much. And um, we only buy dogs that are mutts, which is, like, a bunch, like, basically a mix of a bunch of different animals, or breeds, sorry. And so, like, that means that there's just so many options, because they could have slightly more percentage in one dog than the other and that totally changes their whole entire personality and everything okay let's go oh my gosh there it is how do i get his attention oh my gosh hello hi how are you oh she's so little hi miss apollo oh she's in the water they literally look like sisters oh my gosh she has so much energy she keeps running away i really can't catch her hello Ah, I don't know what I think. I mean, she's definitely a puppy, so she has a lot of energy. She's very pretty. I'm gonna head to school. I'll see y'all at home. Okay, so I still have to read my book, Call of the Wild. It's literally the worst book ever. I hate it so much. It's about a bunch of dogs, like, dying and getting, like, ripped apart. It's awful. I have to do that and that. I love this case. So I'm about to favorite part of the day eat my lunch and watch an episode of my TV show I just filmed a brand new got all my homework done. Well almost all my homework done My mom's currently editing my paper because I'm literally two years old. <laughs> Look how many pills I have to take a day School was so fun today. I love being like around people and in a classroom setting. It just works so well for me Like I went into this class and I was like, oh, yeah, just a class But then it came out being like that was the best class of my life and it's always like that every single time I go in so I love that Mom, how's my paper? Iconic pumpkin creamer. Look how pretty a 
it is this morning. Hello, good morning. I have half my makeup on and half not, so we're just gonna not talk about that. I am so excited to be alive today. It's an early, cold fall morning, which is just my all-time favorite thing. I have a ton of school to do because obviously I got super behind when I went to Denver, like I said earlier. So I have a full-on to-do list and luckily I have enough coffee and energy to get this done with enthusiasm. I'm about to print a study guide. We're starting a new book, which I am very, very excited for. And I'm gonna check my grades because I was having trouble with Schoology which is the app we use to like communicate with our teachers and I'm stressed about my grades, but we shall see. <laughs> okay, I keep saying that there's things missing that I've already turned in, so... Okay, I have to email my teacher. I just, I hate emailing my teacher because when I ask her things like, where's my grade? Or where's, like, just any sort of question sounds rude. Like, I feel like I can't say anything without it coming across as, like, passive aggressive or rude. Like, one time the other day I had to answer, I had to say, why is my poetry a zero? And you only get zeros when you miss an assignment um, otherwise you get at least like a 10 or something like that so anyways just that question like why is my poetry at a zero just sounded so rude and I did not want it to sound like that but I was like I mean I need to ask the question and it's just awkward ah so I don't know but I'm gonna have to ask why is everything missing that isn't missing that I literally sent to her yes we're starting a new book I'm actually excited. Although an interesting thing about the books that we read is that my teacher is following along like a structured, already made system. And so a lot of the books that we read, she didn't she didn't choose them, so she doesn't even like them. So in our class yesterday, she was like, Silas Marner is an awful book. And I was like, oh, I'm so excited to read it. So I just think it's funny. I feel like if I were a teacher, I would want to be the type of teacher that creates the whole system. I would not want to be someone that just is just teaching someone else's like program that would just stress me out like I would want to only be teaching things that I believed in not that I'll ever be a teacher but we will we will see I mean hey you never know my little printer works so hard I love you printer this is what it looks like on a school day oh my gosh so clean and organized Y'all, I'm shook. Okay, so I'm reading this book, Siley's Monitors or something. And oh my gosh, y'all, I thought I wasn't gonna like it, but I'm actually shook. I like it so much. Basically, this guy is like in this in this church and his best friend frames him for stealing money. And then this guy is like engaged to someone and after he gets thrown out of the church for stealing money, the friend goes and takes his fiance. I'm shook, like the audacity of this friend. But anyway, Anyways, I'm going to put on some chapstick, I'm going to go eat a granola bar, and I am going to go do stretching cut. What the heck? This is like tough or something. Oh, there we go. I'm going to go do a stretching class with my sister Laura. I mentioned once in a video that my sister Laura does contortion classes for, and she's been doing them for like two years or something, and she is like crazy bendy. <laughs> and I've been taking lessons with her because I wanted to get more flexible. Although I always need to find a hair tie, and I'm always like searching, and I only have one minute. And I need to eat a granola bar because I'm hungry and I need to pee. This is stressful. I should have left a little bit earlier. On our property, we have a little mini house, if you can see that. And we do my lessons over here. It's very cute. Hi, dog. Hello. inch away from doing my splits on both legs so you always have a bad leg and a good leg and I can do it on almost both my camera's been doing this weird thing where it zooms in like without me zooming it in my favorite thing to eat and has always been a favorite thing to eat are little cheese quesadillas but not fried just microwaved mm -mm -mm. it's not the most healthy so anytime I have one of these I have to have like a salad for dinner or something like that because I mean it's not unhealthy but it's just like this can't be my whole diet. I've been really enjoying my school year. I feel like the app Schoology and having actual teachers and actual students has helped me so much. It like encourages me to actually get stuff done. I think that the new dog will definitely grow on me. I've realized I'm not much of a dog person. I know that's weird because you'd expect me to be a dog or cat person. I just, I, 
in terms of right now, I'm not a big animal fan. And I'm sure I'm just going through a little phase right now where animals annoy me, but I'm sure in like a year I'll be like, I want my own dog, because I always go through those phases. All right, I'm gonna go finish school for the day, and then I'm doing some fall decorating later. I'm very excited for that, but that'll be in tomorrow's video. Thanks, besties, for watching. I'm so glad to be home from Denver and to have a new dog. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.